This program is intended for mature audiences only. Listening to this without permission, please stop. This is not for you. Trapper, hey, how are you? What's new? I'm realizing now um, how much the veil parts once you admit that things are not normal. You know that cold and clean feeling you get when you dry out for a few days before it sucks again? Well, I'm embracing the moment. No telling how long clarity will last. Now, okay, here's something I'm going to admit to you. I don't recall sunlight. There's windows in here, but I don't think I've seen the sun for a while. Not since the network crashed when the comet passed. So, obviously that's a question that requires a little observation. I'm going to play the tape for you. I've heard it already. In the meantime, while I still have the nerve, I'm going to poke my head outside with an eye towards scientific observation. Yeah, wish me luck. Here goes. (laughs) Absolutely. You want to listen in? And that is why you are going to check, then you double check, and then you're going to do it all again. Because if the engine dies, we We all all die. die. All right then, my rat, let's get to work. They ask everything of you and offer you so little in return. They say they need you, but what about you? What do you need? Hey, 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 we got another delay (laughs) Uh, on the blue line, counterclockwise. Uh, Corrosion on the track between 72 and 73. Again, someone's going to need to run the patches to the moles in the tunnel junction. Uh, Got a free rabbit on the line? Rabbit Henderson, head of depot now, Wires. Rise and shine, Twilight family. The hour is four. It's time for your cycle to begin. Enjoy a little something fresh with your caffeine this fine awakening. Hey, who the hell is this? Hey Marge, it's Don. What's the word? You want to tell me why you're not in the upper lungs? Betty and I are patching cables on the access tunnels. Like the duty roster set. Yeah, we could use a few extra hands out here if you can spare them. Damn it! Damn it, now you're right. Someone fouled up the logs last shift. How fast can you get up there? We lost the signal from the alarms. Shit. Marge, we're pretty deep. Can you patch in Art and Herb? <sighs> yeah, here we go. Art, Herb, location check. Yeah, uh, uh, ventricle passage. Art lost another rent. Hey, man, come on. Stow it. I need you rats to hit the lungs fast as possible. What are we looking for? Anything bad. Patch in when you get there. On it, boss. Marge, get wires on the horns. We got smoke in the vents down here. I hear. Get out of there now. Clear the tunnels for the rabbits. Stay safe, Marge. We got flames in the lungs. Make it rain, boss. Shit. Wires. Emergency. Go for wires. Speak. Fire in the engine. Upper lungs. We're flooding it, but we need help. You got it. Hold the line. Rabbits, who we got? Go for Henderson. Wake your Warren rabbit, fire in the engine. We need breathers? Uh, likely. Suit up. Already gone, wires. Engine, you have rabbits inbound. The moles will increase the water pressure and pump in nitrogen. Copy that. We've done this before, sister. It's gonna be okay. The engine is hard to kill. You're not, so get clear. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, help is already coming. No one is alone down here. Another cycle, another callus on your hand, another handkerchief filled with sweat. 
And who benefits? Ask yourself that. Shouldn't the answer be you? Rise and shine, noon family. The hour is half past 13, and it's time for your cycle to begin. Those of you already up and moving, we have a little treat to go with your breakfast. Our very own Brother Lewis is down in the Undercroft with the family that keeps you fed. Brother Lewis. Thank you, Mother Ruth. Greetings, family. I'm spending the cycle in the farmland today with some of our most important siblings. Uh, we got to ride the new elevator in Redwood on the way in. The Sequoia shaft hasn't passed final inspection, but Redwood is officially up and running. With the new elevator set to triple the speed of food transfer, I'm here with some of the people who keep your plate full. Now, can you tell me your name? Sister Fiona Lewis. Um, it's nice to see you again. And what branch do you represent, Sister Fiona? Mycology. If you've had one of the new truffles in the past few cycles, that's been from us. Oh, my word. Those were from you. Those are from us. It's been a long, selective process, but we're getting closer. I mean, I think they're already perfect, and I know I'm not alone there. But you think you can do better? Oh, I know we can. Well then, Sister Fiona, please don't stop. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Now, Vera over here and I go way back. Vera's not only the noon hydroponics engineer, but also one of my godmothers. Hey there, Louie. How you doing? How's your folks? Oh, you know they send their love. Good, good. Get stuck in any wells this week? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, no, Aunt Vera, I'm watching my stuff. <laughs> good for you. So, Vera, what is new in hydroponics? Well, Sequoia and Redwood open up a lot of real estate. And the new sodium lights use less energy, so we're building miles of scaffolding now. Once that's done, in the next few hundred cycles, we'll just about double our garden size. You can also expect to see new cultivars. We have the room to experiment now. <laughs> that's incredible news. Now, this fellow over here, Lewis. Beef Carlo, what's new down on the ranch? What are y'all raising up? It's cows. Uh-huh. We're lucky to keep that herd at a steady size. We're low on the list for expansion, so we work with what we got. All right, is, uh, is that all for us? I don't know. There's uh, a new one in the herd. Got spots that looks like person. Sort of. Can we see it? They call us a family. But would a family force you to work? Would a family offer you nothing to quell the desires of your own heart? Uncle Lloyd, I've got Margaret of the Rats for you. Patch it in. Greetings, Uncle Lloyd. Sister Margaret. Bad time? No, perfect. I've got the numbers you asked for. And? Same as before. No matter what we adjust for, the efficiency problem remains. The engine should be putting out more power. A lot more. We're... We're failing you down here. Let me ask you something, sister. Has the engine ever put out as much power as it should? No. This is a problem that vexed your predecessor. And mine. Yes, sir. Our forefathers built the engine so that we might survive. But the world above did not. They were no more perfect than you or I. It's possible you and I will never solve this problem. Now, tell me this. Do we capture enough of the engine to power what we need? Of course, Uncle. We run at a surplus at all times. Enough to keep the emergency batteries charged. Plus more than enough for the new banks. We are not in danger, sister. You are not failing us. You are doing the family proud. You hear? Yes, sir. I hear. We may be the last city, but we are not the last people. If we hand our children a homestead in better shape than the one we inherited, then we've done all that we can. Now, give the rats a scratch behind the ears for me. You and your siblings do commendable work. Get back to it, Ern. Eh? <laughs> aye, aye, Unc. Wires. Uh, what can I do for you, Uncle? Match me over to the rabbits. I'm ready. One sec. 
Go for rabbits. Uncle, what's the score, old man? Henderson, God help us all. They put you in charge now. The world above is gone. On that we all agree. But who was responsible? Are you sure that the architects of the tragedy do not still rule over you? Children, you do not have to listen if you do not wish to hear, but know that this will be difficult. We've spoken of Brother Quinn of the Twilight Moles before. It brings me no pleasure to tell you that despite the warnings and the assistance, he has been found wanting when the family needed him most. Brother Quinn, what is your role in the family? Mole, sir. Track repair. Ten cycles ago, you were tasked with routine check on a junction. Uh, yes, Uncle. I was. And you signed the log, saying that you had, to the best of your ability, verified that the track was safe. I'm sorry, Uncle. I, I didn't know. I know you are, brother. What happened then? I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. No one does, brother. No one ever does. We're a family. But someone was hurt. Brother Quinn failed at his duty and then lied to prevent discovery. Brother Quinn, what were their names? Sister Agatha and Brother Timothy. We mourn their loss as we mourn yours, Brother Quinn. Please, please. I'm so sorry. Please don't make me go. When we cannot depend on a sibling. We are all at risk. Brother Quinn, we love you undeservedly. But the family comes first. Sister Marion of the Twilight Badges. Yes, Uncle Lloyd, I'm here. I understand you volunteered to relieve Brother Quinn of his burden. I, Uncle. I'm godmother to Quinn's brood, as he was godfather to mine. They will always have a place with us. I will see to them. We have your solemn oath. For all time, Uncle. Thank you, man. Brother Quinn, I grant you leave of your responsibility to the engine and the homestead. You have no place among us, and we have no home for you here. Uncle, please. We will open the locks at the edge of the homestead and you may pass beyond into the tunnels of the world. You will be responsible for yourself and nothing more. You will be free till the end of your sight. First available Badger crew, we have a cave-in on the gold line. Clockwise between 12 and 13. Traffic has been diverted, but there's a passenger tram stuck behind the blockage. Uh, see if you can pick up a few rabbits on the way. Family, I cannot tell you how proud we are of you. Although we cannot see the sun we orbit, we have come round once again. It's a time to look back, to take stock of what remains of the world. And I see a family that is stronger and healthier than ever. I see a world handed down from parent to child and made better with each fingerprint. The engine provides. Its exhalations fill our lungs. Its power keeps us warm and its light feeds us. We may not have yet unlocked its full potential. We may never. But our family is strongest when we forge links for tomorrow's chains. Survival is an act of generations and communities. No one survives alone. But we not only survive together, we thrive. I am proud to call you my family. Mother Ruth, shall we? The time comes, family. 
the lights are dimming. And I have a little something for you. From this valley they say you are going I will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile For they say you are taking the sunshine That a bright and forgot way So they've been down there for almost a hundred years? Getting real close. It was a WPA project at first, then General Electric took over after the Roosevelt crash, and then it traded hands for uh, you know, 50 years or so. Sorry, roll it back for me. Who were the first people down there? Volunteers. And we have the paperwork to prove it. It came with the acquisition. They were migrants, mostly. They all received a sizable financial compensation, which was passed on to their above-ground relatives. Yeah, I told you. This is all legitimate. The first inhabitants were given strict rules about what they could tell their children about the outside and what was important for their survival. After a few generations, it sort of takes care of itself. I still can't believe the output you're getting. It's enough to power the whole of the basin. We just have to be cautious about not drawing too much at once. Not only that, you have a dedicated city of people taking care of the works around the clock for free. And you heard how happy they are. Everybody wins here. Geothermal is as close to perpetual as we're going to get, and it's shielded beneath a mile of stone. When Comet Rupert Elder knocked out the rest of the grid, we kept the lights on. It's incredible, I will give you that. But it's not reproducible. This is a hundred-year project. No one's going to invest in this right now. You don't have to. General Electric funded at least 15 of these engines. If these people survived, there will be others. We only located this one a decade back. It wasn't easy. But now we know what we're looking for. We just have to find them. So we're going to check... And double check. And then, we're gonna do it all again. If the engine dies, we We all all die. die! To be honest, Uncle, I hadn't written the next week of scripts yet. I was planning to ad lib for the most part. That's fine. (laughs) That's fine. We've all been very pleased with what you've been doing. I trust you to keep the right tone. Rise and shine. Eventide family, the hour is half past 25, and it's time for your cycle to begin. I brought you a little gift this morning. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. The voice is back. Mm, Let's digress here. We've heard familiar voices before, but this one is not the same. Again, I have no empirical way of backing this up, but not only does it feel like it's talking to me, it feels like it's on top of the signal, not inside. (sighs) Anyway, no more gut feelings until I can support my thesis. We're dealing in evidence now. One... I was right to not want to go outside. That was deeply unpleasant, but we had to know. Two, the black wool is still there, right where we left it. The sky's all fog black, too. But three, there's a glow seeping down. Look at it long enough and you can make out the shape. Big blue ball of light and a streamer behind it. It's the comet trapper just hanging there. Realize I've heard so many names for it. I forgot what we called it. I don't think it's back. I think it never left. Mm, some of my optimism about finding out what the fuck is going on here has waned. Give me a minute. I'll be back. Right back. Just need to sit for a sec. Stay tuned. Thank you. 
You have been listening to Observable Radio. Tonight's episode, As Below, was performed by the ensemble, featuring Phil Van Hest, Jack Rigoli, Ray Witte, Voice Del Monte, Sarah Katz Hyman, Joshua Kelly, Wendy Hector, Caitlin Eve, Nathaniel Lee, Katie Scovholt, Cohen Edenfield, Tatiana Gefter, Perperina, Kyle Gould, Jason Smith, David Wu, Kimberly Scott, Harrison G. Pink, and Ray Lundberg. Written and edited by Cameron Suey. Produced by Cameron Suey, Phil Van Hest, and Perperina. Our psychology consultant is Dr. Elisa Leal. Art by Corinne Fletcher. Our theme is The Backrooms, performed by Mew. Original music from this episode was performed by Jesse Leal and Katie Scovholt. Additional music from this episode provided by Walt Adams, American Legion, Philip Ayers, Peter Crosby, Christopher Moe Ditvelson, J.F. Gloss, Tim Kulig, Savun, and Silver Maple. Additional music supervision by Katie Scovholt. Additional sound design by Perperina. Special thanks to John Grills and Kathleen Wallander. If you've enjoyed this show, help other people discover it by telling a friend or giving us a review on Apple Podcasts or the podcast feed of your choice. It really does help. Observable Radio is listener supported. Thanks to all of our patrons and listeners, including Kathleen, John, Jeff, James, Rachel, and Tid. If you would like to contribute towards our production costs and payment for our voice actors, as well as get behind the scenes information, extra production material, and an ad free early release feed of this show, you can do so at patreon.com slash observable radio. Full transcripts and more are available at ObservableRadio.com. Stick around after the credits for a look at ensemble member Tatiana Gefter's actual play narrative fusion podcast, Soul Operator. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Tatiana Gefter, creator of Soul Operator. Solo TTRPGs meet horror audio drama as we follow Tessa Whitlock in her exploration of the world of Welcome to the Habit Trails, a game by A. Yoland. If this sounds like something you would enjoy, stick around for this teaser trailer. Hello. My name... My name's Tessa. Tessa Whitlock. My name is Tessa Whitlock. I don't know where I am. I don't... I don't remember anything. I'm not alone. There, there are a lot of us here. There are kids here. We're real. This place is... There's something wrong here. Please, if you're hearing this, please help us. If you get this tape... God, is this even recording? Damn it. Out now, everywhere you can listen to podcasts.